Okay, so what you're gonna do first is go to the Mod by Daylight server um, or check their website directly. Uh, navigate to the private server and download the newest um, private server zip. Important is that every time a DVD gets an update, you will also have to update the private server. So just put it on the desktop and extract it. Run the private server launcher and check if the uh, DVD path is actually correct. Now you can simply do that by going on Steam, right click on Dead by Daylight and search local files. I know it's named different because I'm German. <laughs> um, and you don't want to just copy this if it's not the same than here. So I'm gonna press N for no and paste my actual game path here. And now it's gonna be downloading some executables that can take a bit depending on your network connection. But it should be over with you soon. Okay, so now I download three files. One text file with your game path. If it's not correct, just uh, insert the correct one and save the file. And two folders with executables, which aren't important for us right now. So next is you wanna go to mod by Daylight again and look for the free cam mod by Kumpus Wumpus, Crunch and Scissors. Uh, and just go there and download this too. I got them here. And these two files have to be placed in Dead by Daylight. Content packs. Wait, I bet that's wrong. <laughs> so you wanna go to mods and just drag and drop them in there. And now you're gonna just run the private server launcher again and press 2 to launch the private server. And press any number again. Okay, so now we actually in the private servers you can see that, that you can access the archives and also when you go into a custom game you can see you got all the cosmetics all the characters unlocked you got everything pretty much so for our purpose we will just go yeah, we'll just so as so ever and we can select any map dead for instance and just hit ready Because we're actually able to load and do a match when we're alone on the private server. So now we are in the game alone. I actually accidentally already turned the overlay off, but normally you just you know see your perks, icons, everything. And now you want to press zero on your numpad which will toggle the, uh, the free cam and you can now move around freely with WASD and with Q you go low and with E you raise up just like normal else can be done with uh, control and space uh, I mean yeah that's pretty much it you can toggle your FOV with O and P with O you can Increase it and with P you can decrease it. And now you can pretty much just record any proper cinematics without going to death build. Okay, so right now I'm gonna change from the mod from Compass Wombus to Schmuel's mod, which has way more aspects to it. Uh, I hope I got all aspects by Kumbos Wumbos mod. If not, I'm sorry. 
I never actually really use it because Schmutz is, to my knowledge, way better. So I, uh, I got the mod here. <clears throat> I'm just gonna launch private server again. Okay, so once again, I'm gonna go into a custom game. Go to Survivor, select any map, and hit ready. Okay, so we loaded in. And I still got my uh, overlay, my HUD. Okay, so when I hit 1 on my numpad, actually, uh, you can see that I spawn in the free cam. I can move around very smooth. And with F10, I put up a whole menu of settings that I can use. On the general, we can find hide HUD. That's very useful because obviously it looks way better. Uh, Cross spawning uh, is by default toggled off, but you can of course turn it on if you want, if I ever. Uh, movement, I can decrease the speed I can I want to move with the free cam. So this is pretty slow. Turning is not very important for me, so camera, cinematic camera settings are actually pretty nice because you can you pretty much play around with everything right here. Uh, focus settings, uh, when you focus distance, like where you want your focus to be. Right now I want to be, now I have to be on the cloudlet. In the world settings, you can pretty much toggle the game speed, just like you can on Dev Build. If I set it to 0 0.5, um, you will see if I press 0 again to get back to my character, you will see that I actually move at the half of the speed. Like everything is slowed down. slow down which of course can also be done in the opposite direction if I want to go double speed I just do this and pretty much zoom around the world so what I forgot to mention there is that if you press like any other number on the numpad you can actually use several recams not at the same time but you can pretty easily switch uh, from each to each and actually set uh, personalized uh, settings for each so yeah but let's get back and the green screen of course wait let me get to my character okay so the green screen let me reset all this um, it's actually pretty nice I would just put it, oh wait, let me put it here, uh, increase the width and the height. I mean, that's how I recorded all my cinematics for um, the bot B montage, the ATWW montage, pretty much everything. So, yeah. Maybe you get some friends to play Deadpool 2, and uh, not Deadpool, private server. So you can mess around with the camera while they are playing so you get even more epic shots and maybe make sure to install reshades because this is fucking ugly <laughs> <laughs> 